Uh, do you know Hamza Christian? Like yeah. The guy. Yeah, yeah. So recently he's been – I already talked about this, like, uh, on a previous segment. But so he, sw- he, like, switched up on his followers or whatever. He's kind of started making different content. And he kind of does act a little bit different too. And I think actually a lot of that has to do with his breakup. Like, he's kind of, like, more, like, aggressive and, like, you know – like expecting his followers and expecting people to like just be like tougher like go out there like make money like all this stuff and like meanwhile his like 14 year old fans are all like Hamza you're different now what the heck man like you know I thought you were talk- trying to tell us not to jerk off and now you're getting mad at us for not like going out and making money and talking to girls and like all this stuff so it is kind of funny and he kind of has changed but it, it, there this has also come with a wave of people making videos about him like Hamza is clueless why I don't follow Hamza anymore why Hamza should be avoided like I think people are like hardcore turning on him now but I just thought it was kind of interesting and funny that um you know just kind of uh the the phenomenon of the bandwagon effect where you know once a once a, a good chunk of people start to notice something about someone that is noteworthy or uh yeah able to be said it, it, it is voiced and now slowly that becomes the majority voice and um, kind of people just agree and overtake and, you know, someone's reputation can kind of uh, get a little bit tarnished that way. So, but the thing is like, I'm like, I'm just like on Hamza's side because like as a creator, like Christian and I are creating this video right now. And it's like, dude, like he's just speaking his truth. He's speaking, you know, what he is recommending, what the journey he's going on. And honestly, a lot of his uh, points are like pretty valid, you know, like um, about, you know, honestly, he's speaking to people like me as an entrepreneur, as somebody in a like literally he was born in 97. I was born in 97. We're the same age. We're kind of in the same period, like same spot in our, our, our arc. So if anything, like I'm I'm like, you know, silently rooting for him. I'm not in the comments like defending him and like doing all this BS. But like, I just think it's funny that the bandwagon effect is real that, you know, people may turn against you if you change into the person who you really are or really want to be. And so uh, I think it's still worth it though. In the end, like you should always be authentic to yourself. Um, Obviously, you know, within reason, but um, I just, I, I support Hamza. So if, if this video, if, if this clip does get pushed as like a, you know, talking about Hamza video, let this be one of the the few that are like actually defending him, you know, as opposed to uh, everyone's like, he's changed. He's talking about this, like, and then they're making like, you know, a video, like flipping in screenshots of like his messages in the chat, talking about how dudes need to be doing this and that. And they're like, see how he's like being aggressive and changing and like this and that. It's like, bro, like, why are you making a like a 10 minute review video talking about Hamza and why you think he's changed? It's like, don't you realize that that's kind of just like stupid, like, bro, like he's literally making videos, like just giving advice. And you guys are like critiquing his advice and like worrying about if he's consistent enough. And it's like, meanwhile, you're actually contributing to him getting more views and like more just discussion going on about him. So it's just kind of like, guys, stop being silly and like realize like Hamza is a freaking like inspiration and a goat in the space already. He's like, super rich and it's like if anything just take inspiration from him and like do your thing but don't be on youtube you know kind of just like critiquing his advice you know because at the end of the day bro he's literally just giving basic like bro advice on the internet and we and you guys have all accepted that so accept it for what it is um i don't know specific advice recently but you know hamza's stuff like he it's just basic bro advice like bro, like learn to meditate, learn to go to the gym daily, like learn to go up and like be socially confident and like stuff like that. It's like basic bro advice. So if he goes from one side being like, find yourself like a very wholesome girl to like go out and like get good at like dating multiple girls and get good at like talking to girls to get that experience in dating, you know, when he does stuff like that and it kind of like contradicts for, for like the average person to go back and say like, Hey man, you're being inconsistent with your beliefs. Hey man. And then all these all these like normies like kind of gather around and like try to like critique his advice. It's like, bro, he's literally giving bro advice. You guys all knew this from the start. So like who gives a crap? You know what I mean? I don't know. And I'm just here like supporting him. Like, dude, like bro is making videos, bro. is like being authentic and like getting views. How can I like get similar clout? You know, I don't know. That's just the, the way I see it is like, I'm literally looking at it as like a peer where I'm like a fellow content creator. And I'm like, huh, interesting. You know, I'm not like, I'm not here actually like caring about any of the stuff that's really going on.
to be honest with you. It's just funny. It's like politics. It's like, I don't know. What do you think? Like politics is like, oh, should we like um really, you know, this and that? Like, you know, I, I get like, you know, voting and everything like matters. But at the end of the day, if you're like arguing with someone because they like support, you know, what's her name? Uh, uh, OKC or uh, <laughs> OKC Thunder. Ale- Alexandra Cortez. What's her name? Probably. You know what I mean? The the Mexican chick who's a Democrat. No, I don't know who you're talking about. It's like of Alex. I know who you're talking like, about. AOC. AOC, yeah. Like, Jeez, dude, like OKC, the Mexican chick. God. Dude, <laughs> this exemplifies my point. I don't like watch politics or anything. Like, it's, I don't know, man. Don't get too deep into politics and don't get too deep into Hamza's like advice and care about it that much. That's my point, bro. There's better things in life. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, not not having, by the way, I don't think I've ever watched any of his videos. Um, I only know about him through you. I've seen shorts, seen some of his like uh, mm-hmm. YouTube shorts every once in a while, or at least that was a while ago. Um, but I mean, it. I don't know, is, is it really inconsistent? It sounds like before he was probably preaching, go to the gym. Uh, but he was, the one thing that was different was like, he was probably a little bit more like spiritual focused of like meditation and probably probably talks about stoicism or something probably talks about ignoring the haters i yeah. imagine more of yeah. like emotional control content and like be yeah. like being in the gym and just sort of how to maximize yeah. yourself whereas now he's probably talking a little bit more of like pushing into the dating world maybe even more business get money kind of content as well yeah. so i don't know it's probably all in the same it fits all the like it, the Legos still fit. It's not like it's different. It's not like he's telling yeah. you to go, you know, watch adult content. You know, he's probably yeah. not yeah. suggesting that at all. So uh, it's like funny. I, yeah, people people will still get upset and um, yeah, have have problems with people just because they're a little bit different. Exactly. Like I said, it just seems like classic bandwagon just for the sake of bandwagon, like classic, like just agreeing with other Democrats just because it's like pure tribalism and like herd mentality, which is why I kind of like naturally brought politics into like a similar realm. Cause it's just like, I don't know. Yeah. It's just annoying. Like, uh, herd polit- like herd tribal mentality, bandwagon mentality. And then at the end of the day, it's like, well, this subject matter that we're all forming tribes around is like, <laughs> it's literally just a random dude, my age giving bro advice on YouTube. And it's like, you guys are like, forming tribes like caring about it that much is just kind of funny so what are people Um, saying um you know mostly okay so a lack of consistency with his advice like flip-flopping you know going from saying one thing they'll screenshot it and then you know maybe a couple months later he's saying something like seemingly very different you know and he's he's changing a lot his video styles are changing a lot like before they're like animated jeffrey videos and now they're like him talking and like cursing throughout it you know and stuff like that and like um yeah uh stuff like that i think it's just mainly the consistency people feel like he's changed you know that's the main headline hamza's changed hamza's lost why i no longer follow hamza because he's flip-flopping around all this stuff um and yeah i think i think that's pretty much it but at the end of the day though like people are gonna say well they're making videos uh re- like reacting to him which hey man they're trying to they're trying to get their buff too and they're just you know maybe they don't really care they're just trying to make a video to make a video and like fair enough i get that like i'm also just making a video to make a video i don't really care about that much either but it's like (laughs) i don't know these same guys are literally only going to be able to like pretty much react to him and like try to ride his coattails the entire way like i know that for a fact it's not like they're like posting one one video about him and like the rest is going to be something really interesting like these guys pretty much a lot of times that's like their claim to fame is like trying to be cool by like critiquing hamza it's like bro grow up i don't know but i don't really care at the end of the day it's just kind of a funny rant yeah 